Hey guys, it's time to get excited because it's Palm Sunday. Palm Sunday is an important part of God's big story and it can be found in the Bible. Did you know the Bible is one big true story of God's rescue plan for us? Way back in the beginning of time, when Adam and Eve disobeyed God, sin, which is all the bad stuff in life, entered the world. And sin is what separates us from God. Well, God didn't want things to stay like that. So God promised to send his son, Jesus, to rescue and save us. But here's the thing. Not everyone believed that Jesus was really God's son and the savior. But the ones who did believe in him did something pretty cool on Palm Sunday. They came to worship. And that's our big idea today, worship. Let's take a look at our true story. The story of Easter, the triumphal entry. This is Jesus. hey -o! Who is the son of God and the savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. At this time, the Jewish people were celebrating a festival called Passover that had been celebrated since the time of Moses when God brought his people out of Egypt. So Jesus was going to Jerusalem to celebrate. Jesus and his disciples stopped in the town. You coming? And Jesus told two of his disciples to go on ahead of them. Eh, okay. He told them to go into a village and that they would see a young donkey that no one had ever ridden. Rock! He told them to untie it and bring it to him. If anyone asks, what are you doing? He told them to just say, the Lord needs it and we'll return it soon. Yeah, okay, go ahead. So the disciples did what Jesus said and brought him the donkey. A long time ago, before Jesus was even born, God had said that the Savior, the King of Israel, would come to Israel in this way. And now Jesus was doing just as God had said. The news that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem swept through the city. Many heard about all the amazing things he had done, so they cut palm branches and ran to see him. Huh? The Pharisees and religious rulers realized that there was nothing they could do, for everyone was going to see Jesus. Jesus rode into the city of Jerusalem and the crowd spread their coats on the road ahead of him. His followers began to shout and sing as they walked along, praising God for all the wonderful miracles they had seen. The Pharisees were upset. Hey, Jesus! And they told Jesus to stop the people from saying things like that. But Jesus said, if they keep quiet, the stones along the road would burst into tears. So the people kept on singing, blessings on the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Praise God in highest heaven. The entire city of Jerusalem was in an uproar as he entered, asking, who is this? And the crowds replied, it's Jesus. And Jesus rode the donkey through the street of Jerusalem to the temple in a triumphal entry just as God said he would many years before. God promised to send a savior and a king hundreds of years before, and God's word came true. The people heard and saw all the miracles Jesus did, and news was spreading around about it. Many people believed that this was the savior and king God promised. And so when Jesus came to Jerusalem, they came to welcome him and worship him. As you go through this week leading up to Easter, see if you can find ways to worship and prepare your heart for the most important day of the year, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. This is the day when we celebrate Jesus' sacrifice on the cross and his victory over death and sin. One way I like to prepare is to open up my Bible and read the Easter story. You can read a little bit each day this week, and as you read, take your time and really imagine what it was like to be there. 
Who do you see? What do you hear? What do you feel? And even if you've read this story before, pray that God would show you something new. Take time to read and remember this story. It's a really good way to prepare your heart. Jesus' arrival into Jerusalem gave people a reason to worship, and that reason is hope. Jesus gives us hope. And with that, let's worship right now by singing this song. When the night is darkest and I feel weary, I'm not alone, cause you are I love the message of that song. Our hope is in Jesus. When we believe in him and believe that he paid the price for our sin, we have hope for life with him forever. Well, as we continue to prepare for Easter, I wanted to share the memory verse with you for this week. It's from John 3:16. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. Anyone who believes in him will not die, but have eternal life. Let's learn it together. I'll say it first, and then you can repeat after me. Ready? John 3:16. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. Anyone who believes in him will not die, but have eternal life. That verse is the reason that we have hope in this season 
and the reason we can worship. Well, that's it for our time together. Remember the story of Palm Sunday and today's big idea, worship. Have a great week.